video is very important. It covers two topics having to do with our zucchini plants here behind us. Zucchini plants are very prolific fruiters. They grow very well and they're very easy to grow. Usually one plant is enough to feed a family and we have six and we've neglected to prune them back so we're going to show you how to do that today. Additionally last night we noticed uh, something dreadful on our plants here and that is powdery mildew. I want to show you what powdery mildew looks like. This is a classic example. You can see this what looks like somebody dropped baby powder or sp sprinkled baby powder over your uh, leaves. This is very contagious and it'll spread quite quickly. It won't necessarily kill the plant right away but it will cause some problems and I can see it's spreading from here to here and up here. So we are going to show you a solution for this as well as prune these leaves out and in general prune back these zucchini plants so it's easier to get the fruit and it's not as crowded a little let more uh, light down into the canopy down here you can see some have already started to die back a little bit on our uh, this is our Bianco Lugo Italian white zucchini right here things are looking a little little rough with this one and it it probably just needs to be pruned back quite a bit. I don't see much powdery mildew on this one, but that doesn't mean it's not down uh, in the base. So we're just gonna attack this and do the best we can to get all this out of here. So first things first, to help control powdery mildew on your squash plants, on your zucchini, and I actually noticed it's over on my acorn squash as well. I'm gonna be treating that. One of my favorite things to use if not hands down my favorite and I think it works incredibly well is a natural liquid copper fungicide this one is by Southern Ag I probably put this in on my Amazon store uh, on my on my blog at countrylivingexperience.com go check it out you add one ounce of the liquid copper fungicide per gallon of water Copper is one of the most antimicrobial substances known to man. It is used, and I know this from the architecture profession, right? So it is used in uh, metal alloys in a high percentage to make door handles and bed rails for hospitals. That is because 99.9% .9 of bacteria and germs, uh, so on and so forth, cannot survive more than 10 minutes sitting on a copper surface. That's amazing. That's why this is my fungicide of choice. This is my organic fungicide of choice. Does it work in all situations? No. Uh, some sulfur-based ones uh, work for other things better. Um, but this one covers everything in my garden right now. And what we want to do is... If you don't have a pump sprayer, you can use just a regular bottle sprayer. These pump sprayers are incredibly handy. I have like 10 of them. And I, I recommend you have a ton of them on your homestead. I'll probably make a video about that too. So what we want to do is we want to spray the top and the bottoms of the leaves. And this is going to be easier. This is obviously just a demonstration here. This is going to be easier once I um, prune these out. When I prune them out, I am going to use a pair of pruning shears and to help with cross-contamination I'm going to be using alcohol and a cloth to wipe off these shears between each plant because I do not want to transfer uh, diseases to each plant so that's really important also what's important is I have this bucket here and we're going to discard these let's clip one off We're going to discard these aside, apart from our compost pile. We do not want any disease getting into our compost pile. So we're going to take these. We're probably going to put it in our burn pile, actually. I've got a bunch of wooden things uh, that we burn off here on the homestead. So we're going to take these and we're going to get rid of them. Don't want those anywhere near your compost pile. 
Usually when I trim zucchini I wear gloves because these things are quite picky. They can irritate the skin on your hands. So you can see we've got our main stem right here and it's made its way quite far out into our aisle way. Now all the fruiting is happening out at the end or the edge of the plants. Nothing is going on back towards this main stem here. So we can just come in here and clip off the excess leaves. You can see this one has already died off. We're going to, uh, like I said, dispose of these and get this powdery mildew under control. Now let's show you this powdery mildew up close again. So as you can see, these little white spots. It looks like baby powder dumped all over it. You can prevent this by mitigating moisture underneath your plants. Now this is really my fault for not pruning these back quickly enough. The foliage here is quite extensive and it's holding the moisture down in there so the mildew has been able to get a foothold. If I was to prune these out earlier, it might not have taken place. But it's causing that moisture to be trapped down here and that mildew to be formed. You can mitigate that with the pruning. Also drip irrigation is, is also a, a really good thing to do because it really puts that little bit of moisture, moisture that you need down into where the roots need it. We've had quite a rainy season here in East Texas so that's why I think this, uh, this has taken hold besides my neglect uh, for pruning. Here's what our finished zucchini plant's going to look like. You can see I've trimmed out everything here. I got a lot of the powdery mildew uh, that were on the leaves that were on this side, which are a little bit more shaded. That's probably why it was, it was growing a little bit more heavily on this north side over here. And you can see we can trim back, especially on this little one here, we can trim back up until where your flowers start. Now this, this is a male flower here. You can tell it by the long stem with the, the flower on the end. I don't know if you can see it way back here, but there's a little zucchini and that's obviously the female. This, if this was a female, it would have a, uh, a tiny little zucchini here, it'd be fattened. Well, we hope this video has been informative. It's how you take care of powdery mildew on your zucchini plants and other squashes and how to prune these out and trim them for the healthiest plants possible. Leave us any comments or questions in the comment section below. We appreciate it, and we appreciate your kindness when posting those questions. Thank you everyone for watching. We appreciate you being here. Thank you to all of our subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. Also go visit us on countrylivingexperience.com. We do a lot of writing there, some blogging about homesteading, so check that out. And like I mentioned before, we also have uh, Amazon links on there. We just, just a teeny tiny commission if you click on that and purchase the products that we really recommend and we love using on our homestead. Have a great day everyone, and we will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.